Hello and welcome to ATG4950. This session will address the technology and equipment required for the designed processes which were identified in the last session. One of the factors that affect processes and might play a great role in process improvement is equipment and technology. The initial cost of buying this equipment will be considered as a fixed initial cost or capital investment. While the cost of operating and maintaining this equipment is considered as a variable cost that will be included in product cost. So what you do, <coughs> you calculate how much would it take to operate and maintain this equipment and then you can divide that as part of the product cost, the um, variable cost that will be included in the total cost. <coughs> Technology and equipment or equipment is a hard decision to take. You will be looking for technology that will optimize your operations. A technology that will provide the organization with competitive advantage through adding flexibility and stabilizing uh, processes. You, you could use AutoCAD or SolidWorks or uh, uh, any other software to work with you on the processes. Uh, for example, develop the prototype, maybe a simulation software to simulate the process, maybe statistical software to analyze data. Whatever software you choose, now there are software, most of the software will be considered as a fixed cost that will be uh, first, uh, you know, initial or in the initial cost or in the capital uh, investment cost of um, the uh, production. You could use also sensors and cameras that will assist in, you know, this is uh, like uh, uh, another technology that you can use to assist you in um, improving the process and make it more efficient. And you could use computer integrated manufacturing machines such as CNC machining, robotics machines, forklifts, and uh, automated storage and retrieval systems. Whatever system you need to use, whether it's small, uh, whether it's big, whether it's hardware, software, it doesn't matter, but you need to select the proper technology to uh, assist you in improving um, the processes or in making it more efficient to produce your product. <clears throat> the use of machine technology increases precision, productivity, and flexibility. It reduces environmental impact. It supports innovative product uh, design, uh, minimal custom tooling required, minimal assembly time, uh, low inventory, and reduced time to uh, market. Some of the well-known used machine technologies are computer uh, numerical uh, controls, which is the CNC machine, and additive manufacturing, which is adding material layer by layer, or what we call 3D printing. The automatic identification systems and the use of radio frequency IDs improved data acquisition and reduced data entry errors. Scanning components or parts electronically will increase the speed of item tracking, uh, processing, and shipping. The process control, which is a real-time monitoring and control of processes, increased process stability and increased process precision. It gave a real-time provision of information for process evaluation and made data available in many forms such as charts, figures, diagrams, and reports, photos, pictures, images, videos. You have lots of data that can be processed. Vision system aid in inspection. It will assist in product orientation and in position, uh, positioning the product accurate, uh, accurately. With the current advancements in technology, cameras can be installed with modest cost. These systems are uh, superior to people for performing the same task. Uh, people might have fatigue, they might be exhausted, uh, they might miss, uh, not look at the uh, process uh, like the camera. The camera is there all the time. It has sensors, so anything that will pass in front of the camera or in front of the sensor uh, will be uh, recognized and uh, an action will be created. Uh, 
robots uh, perform an, uh, monotonous or dangerous tasks. Uh, robots can uh, perform uh, tasks requiring significant strength or endur endurance, such as the uh, robots used in car assembly, which you know uh, do a very heavy lifting. Robotic arms uh, provide consistency and accuracy, especially in welding, pressing, cutting, milling, and drilling. Automated storage and retrieval systems. It uh, automates uh, placement and withdrawal of parts and products, which uh, reduces errors uh, and labor. Uh, this system is mostly useful in inventory and test uh, areas of manufacturing firms. Automated guided vehicles, which is an electronically guided and controlled carts, uh, it's used for movement of products and or individuals uh, or uh, even components of a product. Um, this is another technology that plays a huge factor in improving processes and increasing efficiency. In flexible manufacturing system, computer controls both the workstation and the material handling equipment. The FMS can enhance flexibility and reduce waste. It can economically produce low volume at high quality. It reduces change over time and increased utilization. It has strict communication requirements between components. The computer integrated manufacturing, uh, which is an extension of uh, the flexible manufacturing system, uh, it extended process improvements or improvement all the way back uh, to the engineering process to, to the design stage and uh, inventory control. It also went forward all the way uh, to warehousing and shipping to the wholesale distribution uh, center. It can also include financial and customer service areas. The computer aid integrated manufacturing reduced the uh, distinction between uh, low volume, high vo variety, and high volume, low variety production through the ability to change configuration using dashboards and touch screens. So it's very easy to control the um, uh, machines that we have to uh, make the changes that we need. This figure shows the integration of different computer-aided systems uh, together in uh, a manufacturing environment. And you can see how the computer is connected to all of them to control and to send information or to send commands to the different machines to do the job that uh, should be done. Uh, based on this session and the last session, you should be able to identify the processes and activities required to build your product and select the proper technology and equipment to increase production efficiency. That will be all for this session. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email, uh, to use Microsoft Teams or uh, to call or even come in person if uh, you need. Thank you and have a great day.